hi everyone welcome back to the laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the controller so these are the key points that we are going to learn so first of all we will see what is the controller then we will make a controller with a command line write the right routings and pass some parameters for that and after that we uh, how we can use the controller uh, as an api also so now let's start with the theoretical question what is the controller so controller is basically the central unit here you can write your logic here you can uh, call your database uh, data from the database and you can call here models uh, here you can uh, pass the views from here so lots of things that you can uh, do from here all right so now let's see that how we can make a controller so i'm just going to inside the command prompt and before that uh, i'm i'm just going to tell you that where your controller is going to be saved so inside your first folder which is name is app uh, that open the http folder and after that you will see that there is a folder with the controllers when i'm just going to make a controller uh, with the command line a file will be created automatically here and now let's see so just uh, just write a command line with the php artisan make controller and controller name and controller name let's say youtube and uh, your controller name should be start with the capital letter because after all this is a class and just hit the enter and you will see a uh, controller is created successfully and after that just click on the youtube file which is created as a location as i told you and you will see that some auto, uh, some code is automatically returned here with the command line and this is a benefit of using the command line that you will have to write the minimal code of uh, inside the core things all right so after that just make a function i'm just going to make a function uh, my function name is index you can start your uh, function name with the public pri private and protected if you want by default this is the public so here i'm just going to write here echo controller is created controller created all right and after that controller is ready but uh, to open it we must have to define some routings and if you want to know about the routing then you can watch our previous video so uh, you have to just go inside the routings folder and the web.php and here you will see that there is a one routing is created for the welcome page and this is your welcome page so now you have to create the routing for your controller so just write here routing route scope resolution method get and your path let's say youtube and uh, after that you have to write your controller name and the function name so just write here youtube at the rate function name is index and just put the semicolon and now your in the uh, control is ready and now just open the url with the followed by the youtube and you will see that controller is, is created all right that's nice so we already covered the uh, maximum things so now let's see that how you can pass the parameters so sometime you want to pass a parameter from here like so id and search when you just search the search keywords are here all right so let's say you have the id how you can open this all right by default is coming the 404 so for for that you have to just uh, uh, a little bit change inside the routing first of all just write here inside the curly brackets id and after that go to your command prompt and just write here uh, dollar id and you can just uh, fit id and ID is whatever you want to write and at the last you can write here dollar ID and now you can just uh, see like 101 and you will see that will be the ID and ID is this all right so if you just uh, want to remove this then you can still also remove that's the same thing and it will just print the ID only okay you can uh, the put the ID whatever you want and it will be here so now uh, 
the last thing is that how you can treat the your api or controller with the api so for that uh, you don't need to do much more just use your return and with the return with the return just pass the array and inside the array just put the key like id and just use the dollar id here oh, that's my bad dollar id and you will see that it will automatically return the data inside the json format all right and you can pass some more data if you want like uh, username in the upcoming videos i will get this data from the database so like uh, user and you can put the username is peter email and after that i'm going to show you that how you can call it from the postman also like peter at mail.com or whatever you want to put and now let's try then you can see that the you got the old data is in json so uh, now let's uh, because uh, api should work with the postman so now let's try it with the postman so i'm just going to copy this url from here and let's uh, try it with the postman so just open the one thing i don't need i don't need these things so just write here the url and hit the send button then you will see send that the status is 200 and time it will take that time and all the things are here all right so this is about how you can call the uh, apis from the controller in the postman and this is all about the controller so if you still you think that uh, there is something missing then you can ask me in the comment box uh, there's a lots of things this is uh, on the advanced level of the controller uh, like that how you can fetch uh, the database in the controller and use the middleware inside the controller uh, i will make a video on the advanced controller also after a few videos because after before that you have to learn that how you can uh, uh, you have to understand the middleware and database things and all so don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching this video